Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain and finished and covered Kamen's PC C2100 baseboard complete wiring diagram explanation. We are uploaded two videos. This is the part number three, the last part of the Kamen's PC C2100 baseboard complete wiring installation method. If you not watched part 1 and part 2, please go back first, watch the part 1 and part 2 and then come to watch part 3 and cover all the complete wiring diagram of the Cummins PCC 2100 baseboard. So before the starting video, I have small request to all newcomers, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get more latest update video. So let's get started. This is the we have remained three connector the PCC 2100 series have uh, some TB and some connectors TB1, TB2 and also J1 to J9 connectors we are explain some connector in part 1 and part 2 okay and this is the last last part and final part Today we are explaining the J3 connector and also J8 and J6 and J9. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here, we have J8 connector and we have from 0 to 10 pins. This connector is type of membrane type. As you can see, this is the membrane type of connector which is coming from the PCC to power command controller display. Okay, as you can see here. This one. This is our power command display. Our power command display have some buttons, navigation keys, reverse menu, lower lift, upper lift, upper right, lower right, and also fault test, panel lamp test, manual run stop, and also ground. Okay, as you can see here, from zero to ten pins. This each pin is going for each buttons and also to display okay as you can see if you have display related issues you check out and figure out and test this all pins where is your problem okay this pin this all pin as you can see mentioned with the numbers j3 pin number 10 is home menu for home menu button ground as you can see positive sorry and j3 previous menu positive j3 pin number eight is lower lift j3 upper lift j3 six up right j3 lower right five and j3 four fault wrist and j3 panel limb test and j3 two manual run stop j3 one is ground okay this is the display section so this has been explained now j8 as you can see here r is 485 power r is 485 negative ptc plus ground and ptc states and also ground this is going this is the ribbon type of cable okay this is going to or ptc module okay ptc means positive temperature coefficient this is cool down or for cool downing of our complete pcc baseboard okay the j7 this is, has been cleared okay and also the j6 this is going to the lawn works module can system this is the can communication protocol okay all the components and all the circuits communicate communicate with each other this is the complete can communication system and complete section of can communication okay if you have problem related to the can communication error you check this section okay this section is a 
have another complete uh, class okay but it is a, we are simply call this is the lawn works module can communication system protocol okay the j9 is for the service connector if you connect your pc or your computer to check all the status set all the parameters and program programming all the configurable inputs and outputs this is the j9 is a service connector so i hope you understand with complete this tutorials three tutorials videos about the cummins pcc 2100 baseboard series thanks for watch complete tutorials if you have further any question and any video required about the any type of power commands power wizard or dfc controller datacom or dcp write comment below and comment section i will make a video about to solve your problem and to understand on you on the wiring diagram so thanks for watching see you all next time goodbye